I can't believe I'm gonna continue to out myself to the internet. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Steph, and today we're. I know I keep changing backgrounds, but we're here again. I don't know. Once again, what I'm gonna do with backgrounds and stuff, because I just feel like changing things up and moving around a lot. So, that's that. And today, if you've read the video title, yeah, we're gonna talk about my history with fan fiction. Because there's a history there. I don't remember what year it was that I started. But I know the timeline and I kind of don't want to say it because I feel like it's embarrassing and you guys would judge me when I started really writing it. I can I know my very first fan fiction because I was like, this isn't fan fiction. This is just a story with these characters. But that's fan fiction if you're using someone else's characters and incorporating yourself or other things into a story or using them in a story around it. I was in total denial that I was writing fan fiction during my first fan fiction. And it is one that I've never shown anyone else. It is one that no one has ever heard of no one knows about and it was just written for me <laughs> and i will not share that one that is going to continue to be private because it is both cringy and just a show of my sense of humor <laughs> without any like outside people to comment or anything so which is a lot of my fan fiction anyway but except for the not people you know it was just <sighs> disregard my my added words i don't know why i keep doing that but yeah, that was my very first venture in fanfiction, and that was before I went on the internet to start doing it or anything. I just wrote that for me because I was lonely, <laughs> and I wanted to feel like I had friends. Now, don't get me wrong, I say things like, oh, I don't have friends, things like that. I do have friends, it's just, when you are a child of divorce, and you live with one parent most of the time, so all your friends are out there, and then you live with another parent who lives very far away from friends, and when you're with either parent, you don't really see your friends outside of school. You get lonely, and it's really lonely, so you try to make your own things where you're friends with these characters and things like that. That was just my experience. I was lonely. <laughs> Does it still show? Because I still am. So that was my very first fan fiction, and like I said, I won't go into details about it. It was just, it was basically a road trip fan fiction that ended with something I thought was really cute and if I knowing looking back on it because I remember the everything about it cringy 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 very cringy let's move on to my actual like going on the internet fan fiction because that's where that's where the delve started and it's where I'm still at today so I started writing fan fiction on tumblr big shock on Tumblr, you had a lot of those, like, preferences and imagines and things like that, where it was, like, YN, where it's weird because, like, at first your brain sure is yes slash no, but it's supposed to be your name. <laughs> it's weird. It's it's really weird. But that's where I started. I was reading some of those, and I wrote something. It wasn't really a YN thing. It might have been a YN thing. I don't remember the exact first thing I wrote, but it was, like, like a little, like, preference. Not preference. Like, a little imagine, like, oh, here's a scenario and here's the people. And then people started contacting me, hey, do you write preferences? Do you write, like, targeted stories with, like, here's my name? Can you write me a story with this person? And so I thought, okay, I'm helping make other people happy, and other people are, seem to be enjoying what I'm doing. So I had regular updates going. I had regularly scheduled stories. I had a notebook that I actually, in school, and went, like, at my dad's, and I would sit in my room all the time. I would actually write in there and that would be the basis of what I would later type up when I got home and post on Tumblr. People loved it and it made me like really happy to see other people like, oh my god, this is so cute or wow, you're such a good writer. Spoiler alert, I was not. I was very basic. Uh, there were lots of misspellings, lots of just errors. It was really my super going into I want to be a writer because that's always been a dream mind since I was really little. So. People asking me to write things was really like, whoa, I can actually maybe be a writer someday. And this is a good test outlet for it. So I was going for it. Not well, but I was going for it. That lasted a few months before I got the question to do, hey, can you do one of those, you know, those like scared pregnancies and someone gets pregnant. Nah, 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 nah. And I thought, you know what? This is my chance to do something bigger than what I've done in the past. These like short little paragraph things or things only lasted like a couple paragraphs. Or maybe a page. I don't know how you regulate a page on Tumblr. It's just, you know, the paragraphs. But I thought, this is my chance to do something different. I'm going to do a series. I'm going to write a little mini book, kind of. 
this was my first, I had not been introduced to Wattpad at this point. This is my first kind of, I'm gonna write a, st a, a lo really long story with this character and this character, and it's gonna be something. There's gonna be a plot, there's going to be evolution of characters, there's gonna be evolution of all this stuff, and I did it! I was, I want to say maybe 20 in the teens, or tw right, right there in the teens and 20 points of how many chapters it was, and let me tell you, it was not good. It was far from good. It was your classic, like, cheese, like, oh no, and oh, get out of my house, you're pregnant, and st it's like the classic setup for a fan fiction where you're like, oh no, someone gets pregnant, someone gets kicked out, and then now they're living together, and oh look, they're gonna go on tour now, even though, like, it's it was stupid, okay? It was ridiculous. But at the time, I was really proud of it. I was really excited to write parts of it. And I had a day scheduled where sometimes I would update it every day. Most days I had like a set day that I would up upload. And people got excited. They would message me, hey, when's the next part coming out? Or hey, I really like what you're doing with this. Can you write this for me? And just... It was really cool. And people sending prompts like, hey, could you do a prompt? Or like, you guys have onesies and things like that. And <laughs> it was fun. I... I felt like I was doing something productive, and it just made me happy. It was something I could look forward to doing, and at that time, my computer time was limited, and so I was using it to type up something I had written earlier in the day just for that. That Tumblr page is still up, too. I can go back and look at all that cringe, but at the time, I was so proud of it. It was a while after writing that, I kind of left that page for- I just didn't really write on it anymore. And I was in this time where I didn't really write, and I was looking to read more. And I discovered this fanfiction. It later got taken down, and whenever, like, I talked about it on Twitter once, and the author, like, quoted my tweet, like, Oh my god, people won't shut the fuck up about my fic. It's dead. Let it die. <laughs> I thought that was really funny, but it was also like, Whoa, I'm sorry <laughs> to bring up dead remnants. Anyway, that was... God, that time. I don't even remember what the fic was called. I'm pretty sure it was one of those like insert yourself ones. I don't know, but the story, I found it really compelling, so I wanted to keep reading it. And then it just kind of ended, you know, how fan fictions do, where sometimes they'll end and then they won't get completed. And if you're watching this and you've been reading mine, I'm just working on the Halloween fic right now, okay? I'm not leaving things behind. I'm trying to prepare myself because you know how Halloween goes. I upload either every other day or every day. And I want this fic good, damn it. <laughs> I'm actually planning this one a lot. Like, the first year, I completely pants the Halloween fic. The second year, I planned it a month in advance. This year, I'm planning it about six months in advance. This thing has been going for a while now, and it's evolved, and it's a four-part universe, and I love it. It's my baby that no one outside of my little fanfiction community will see, but that's not the point. Anyway, back to that. The fic I was talking about that um, the chick quoted my tweet and everything... That was on Wattpad, and I'd never had a Wattpad account, I'd never really heard of Wattpad. And so I thought, hey, I'll make an account, what the hell? So I made my account, and I got on there, and I started reading all these stories. I was like, whoa, this is really cool. You know what? I'm gonna write my own kind of story. Now I was attracted through... Lord forgive me. <laughs> I was attracted through a Five Second Summer fanfiction, okay? Like, guilty, guilty, guilty. I read Five Second Summer. I don't read it as much anymore. Although there's a good one, I will look it up. <laughs> Mostly I'm into different, like, the emo band fiction. I, was, I can't believe I'm outing myself on the internet, like, what kind of fan fiction I read. But, yeah, I read the emo band fiction. You know, it's not so much as, like, minning it on the internet, it's like minning it, like, with my face revealed. Like, on Twitter all day behind a different avatar, I'll be like, yeah, I love this kind of fan fiction. No, I don't like this kind of fan fiction. Yada, yada, yada. But, like, admitting it with my face right here, it's kind of nerve-wracking. I feel like you guys are really judging me. Oh well, my very first fanfiction on Wattpad was a Peter Ick. <laughs> I took it down. People loved that thing though. They were like, this is beautiful content. <laughs> and in the back of my head, I'm like, no, it's not. And I stayed up for like a year or two before I finally had the nerve to like, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. It's so bad and I took it down. Oh. <laughs> it was doing really good too. I had like a, a I think was ra ra um, blah, blah. It was rounding up to around 100,000 reads, and I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> but the next one I wrote was a Ferrard, which I started pretty much after or during the Peterick one. And that one is still up. I do enjoy the story, although if I could go back, there would be things I would do differently. I would change some things. 
it was, I don't know. When I finished that fic, there was like such a sense of accomplishment because that was close to 30 parts, I think. That one felt really near and dear to me. I love the message I had behind it, although a lot of people didn't really get the message and they yelled at me for the ending. <sighs> Honey, the message, the message of it. Come on, I'm trying to like relay this message. You guys just like, what the? How could you do that? It's like, was it realistic in the first place? <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about, don't mention the name in the comments. Like I always say, I like to keep my Wattpad and my fanfiction separate from my YouTube and my Twitter and all these things because Wattpad and my fanfiction are kind of my safe zone. And it's been my safe zone forever, so I don't like those things shared. I do have a public Wattpad that I'll link to in a coming video because I need to make some tweaks on it. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> I've written a lot of things. I've written a few AU alternate universes. I've written... I don't do preferences. I've written some imagines, but like with the characters. I don't do self-inserts anymore. That's where I started though. I started with self-inserts. I started with like the eyes and first person. And I don't really like first person anymore. Through all of this, I've evolved with my writing style and how I want to write and how what style I like writing in. I like writing in third person. I really love third person. I have started to dabble more into first person again though. I'm working on a story right now and it's just a snarky kid talking to the reader and it's not one that's a fan fiction, it's like an actual story story. And I think it'd be really fun and it's fun. I finding it fun to kind of step back into first person after years of being in third person because I really enjoy third person. I don't know, I think that's really cool how the writing evolves, but yeah, and to this day I'm still writing fanfiction. My fan- my fics have done really well. I've had some that are reaching 400,000 reads, if not more. Like, the the first Farrard one I did, and the second or third Peterick fic I did, those two are my most known, and that's what gets them a lot of traction to me and people just find what I did funny, and they like the storylines, and lack thereof, and just the hilarity of it, and the kind of break from reality, and I don't know. I had a point to this video other than just bragging about my numbers on fanfiction. <laughs> but no, I started writing fanfiction because I was lonely, and I didn't really get to hang out with people outside of school, so in those hours outside of school, after doing homework, if I did my homework outside of school, most of the time I did it in school because who does a homework outside of school? Nerds! <laughs> I was a nerd. <laughs> but I was lonely, so writing was my friend, and that sounds so sad. Oh my god. I was, writing was there for me. I could create characters, I could create stories, I could create these people, I could tweak how these characters were, I could take these people, well-known people, these faces, so I could work on the descriptions and people in the comments would be like, that is so him, my baby, or, um, excuse me, his eyes are hazel, bitch. <laughs> like, really helping nail down how to describe people and faces and, I don't know, it's, it was a great starting point because I still, even while doing that, I wrote original stories. I've written original stories all my life. Whether they were good or not, that's debatable. Like, the one where I wrote about the Felicica Axe murder house, and that story went missing right before the Young Authors Fair, so I couldn't read it to people. Though I left it in my desk, so I have an ongoing conspiracy that my teacher took it, so I couldn't read it at the Young Authors Fair. Because it was dark, I wrote about the chopping of the heads and stuff, and... Yeah, I was a messed up child. I was allowed to watch these dark... Um, what are they called? Documentaries. <laughs> and I read Oral Stein and different horror books growing up, scary stories for sleepover, stuff like that. It, di it didn't help. I don't know. I it was just a basis to start and to share these stories because sometimes it's hard to get traction on original stories. But if you're writing a fan fiction and you introduce people to your writing, it really pulls people in. And people respond and they start following you and then when you post new projects they're excited to see what your writing will bring next and what what are you going to do well, how is this character going to be different from the last time you wrote this character how is they going to be the same are you linking your universes is this fic linked to the, this fic it's just really exciting and i really enjoyed it i just really enjoy 
this part of my life and like I said I still do it and judge me if you want but I'm still getting comments and people asking me hey are you what are you doing with this story and hey how are you doing and just people still like I really love your stories and they actually get excited when I respond to them which is mind-blowing to me because I'm just a dork on the internet writing stories about other dorks doing dorky things and stuff like that and people find my writing inspiring. I've had people actually message me and say, hey, you, the way you write your stories and your storylines and how funny you are, it's inspired me to start my own thing. Would you mind checking it out and would you mind this? And what really inspired Wattpad Wednesday, honestly, me talking about my fan fiction for regular fiction and people being like, can you check this out? Can you tell me what you think of this? I, it's, ignore the screaming in the background, but it's really heartwarming and it makes me want to keep doing what I'm doing even when I haven't been updating recently because I've been working behind the scenes on stories, upcoming stories that I really hope you guys will enjoy because that is a universe I really love and I love to create my own like physical editions of these different universes with demons trying to take over and different things like that. I remember what I was going to talk about now, the themes. The different themes I write about that kind of relate to my life. This, a lot of my stories follow a really similar theme and I started noticing that around end of last year, early this year, like I realize it again and again at different points as I'm writing. I really re write a lot about the, the lack of control because throughout my life I've always felt there was this lack of control in my life and even when I supposedly had control, I didn't. There was always something or someone that's holding me back and just has the real control and it translates into my writing there's always some kind of lacking control there's always something pr looming over and preventing and just controlling and messing with minds and things like that my real life experience really blends not blends bleeds into my fan fictions and sometimes people connect to it, sometimes people don't. And yeah, there's definitely things that I'd like to go back and rewrite, but a lot of times I don't because people still connect to them and they see things within them and I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Some plot points I hate, other people love, and some plot points I love and other people hate, and that comes with any writing really. Now I'm just kind of rambling, but a lot of my fanfiction like obviously not like super into my life but a lot of it kind of comes from my real life this lack of control this this just wanting I don't know yeah this video took a sad turn um uh, maybe we should stop now and just move on so I've been thinking about I'm sorry to make this video longer than it needs to be I've been thinking about doing writing vlogs to try and really motivate me on stories that I don't share with people, like the ones that I eventually want to get published and maybe post them on my public Wattpad and working on things like that. And I like your guys' opinion. If you stuck around this long, I'm sorry to make you wait this long before asking a question. I think it'll be motivating to me and it will help me really push because I have a notebook full of different ideas and story points and things that I would love to write, like fully. I have these characters be starting to be fleshed out and created and different plot points because I write weird. I can imagine a sentence and build a story off a sentence. I can just like think of an idea and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't and I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I kind of want to do these writing vlogs to try and get my thought process out and try to work out kinks and try to build a real story. I don't know. So the last part of this video got kind of sad. It started out fun and now it's just kind of sad and me sounding sad. I swear, I'm not sad. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to catch up on Wattpad Wednesday, this is not part of Wattpad Wednesday, but there'll be a new video on Wednesday as usual because Wattpad and Wednesday and fanfiction and fun. You can find that right here if you want to check out my last video. I don't know what it'll be at this point. Maybe a readathon thing. I don't know. That'll be down here. If you want to subscribe, my face will be right here as well as the button down there. Give a little bell icon to be notified when I post new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you guys want, I'll keep talking more about fanfiction and, all, and whatnot. I don't mind. I, I think it'll be fun. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day slash night. I'll see you later.